What's up guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Alyssa. i post all things health and clean beauty uh, welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing like a little shop my stash holiday look edition <laughs> um i was going through like all of the products that i have trying to do just like a little bit of a clean out and I saw so many products that I have that I either really haven't used or just haven't used in like a while. Um, so I figured I would pull some stuff out, play around with it, do like a little bit of a holiday look, um, just kind of try to use up some of the stuff that I have already. I have so much makeup and it's so hard for me to part with the makeup that I have because I know that I like like it and I want to use it all i just hardly ever wear makeup now so i never use it so i kind of want to start trying to you know use a little bit more makeup so anyways um let's just jump into it and see what i come up with i have zero plan <laughs> for what kind of look i'm gonna do besides i just want it to be like festive maybe some gold maybe some like champagne colors I don't know yet um so yeah um so the first thing that i'm gonna go in with is some sunscreen this is the super goop glow screen sunscreen i got this probably when it first came out i think um which was like earlier this year and i think i've used it like a handful of times and then just stopped using it because Tula had came out with their like glowy sunscreen. So once I got that one, I just kind of stopped using this one, but I really do enjoy this one. It definitely makes your skin super glowy. Um, I want to say I took this with me to Cabo for my honeymoon, but honestly, I don't think I even used it that much because I took that one and um, my Tula one and I just ended up using my Tula one the most just because it was always in my bag <laughs> so um slap that guy on and i'm actually going to start with the eyes today so i'm gonna pop on some of my um arbon re9 gel eye masks they're just like the little ones that i use all the time like that um just to kind of one hydrate under my eyes and to help me have like a guide because i always my eyes are so hooded so i always end up like dragging my eyeshadow down this way and i want just like something to help me kind of lift my eyes <laughs> and also because i'm gonna do a little bit of a heavier look today i think um i'm just gonna start with the eyes first so that way i don't get like fallout all over my eyes or all over my face um i never never do my eyeshadow first so this is gonna be fun i'm gonna do it this way that way i have i usually do my eye patches the other way where i put the little like smaller section in the corner of my eye but today we're gonna do it the other way that way i kind of have a little bit of like a guide to go off of i don't know we're trying new things today we'll see what happens first thing i'm going to go in with is my alima pure eye primer just gonna take this you literally only need the smallest amount when you use this i'm gonna go in with my lawless the one palette i haven't used this thing in so long and i don't even know why because there's so many beautiful shades in here so i'm gonna first go ahead and set my eyes with this everything shade it's just like a neutral toned almost like a skin tone shade for me let's see if i still have like any 
any uh, eyeshadow skills because I don't ever do my eyeshadow anymore. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in with this complicated shade, just like a neutral brown. Um, I'm just gonna take it on like a little small fluffy brush like this and start to take that in my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with these two shades right here, play cool and steady. I'm just gonna take it on a smaller little fluffy brush and just kind of use it to define my outer corner a little bit more. Now I'm going to take this Bare Minerals Lasting Line Eyeliner in the shade Eternal Brown. Um, and I'm going to kind of try to create like a smoky wing over here. I'm not the best at winged eyeliner, but I feel like smoked out wings are so much easier to do because you don't have to really be precise. I'm gonna go in with this DTR shade and like a small pencil brush like this. And I'm gonna try and I'm gonna take this plunge shade on this little liner, liner brush, can't even talk anymore, and I'm gonna kind of do the same thing with the black shadow like I did with the bronze eyeliner, just to kind of intensify. And then I'm mixing a little bit of that black and that DTR brown shade and again just kind of just trying to intensify that lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with that smaller fluffy brush and that play cool and steady shades. I'm just going to go back in and blend out this crease a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this Alima Pure Brown Sugar shade. It's like a loose eyeshadow. To put some in the cap. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger and and then I'm gonna go in with my Armis Solar Eye Polish. This is just like a cream eyeshadow. Um it does crease a little bit, but I'm hoping it doesn't crease too much since I applied powder down. I'm just gonna top that off. It gives it a very pretty, like, metallic-y finish. And then I think I'm gonna wait to do the inner corner, but that's what it's looking like so far. I'm just gonna remove this guy. Uh, the eyes look like I'm gonna go in with my Alima Pure Smooth and Prime Primer. This thing I have used this so much, and I swear it's like a never ending tube, and it's not even like a big tube, but a little goes a long way. And I actually like love this primer, it's one of my favorite smoothing primaries but I'm just surprised like how long that to bottle me has lasted then I'm gonna go in with my juice beauty um phyto pigments illuminating primer I'm also gonna go in with my 
Tula Face Filter Primer. I'm really just trying to use all of my like base products up. I use that Tula Primer like every day when I do do my makeup and I swear that also is something that just never quits. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with my Ilia True Serum Foundation and I'm gonna mix it with some of my Maya Chia Highlight of the Day Drops. This is an Afternoon Delight. And then I have this guy in the shade Corsica. Um, I recently re-pulled this out and have been using it. I haven't used it since I filmed my wedding makeup back in like April <laughs> and I forgot how nice that foundation is it's just so like natural looking but it still like covers well um it's not heavy it's like super just lightweight on the skin I haven't used the Maya Chia drops in such a long time too and these are so pretty like such a pretty illuminating product so I'm just gonna take one little pump of the Ilia foundation and about two drops of the highlighting drops and mix that in together. And I'm just gonna take a damp beauty sponge, blend this out. I literally forget the name of this concealer, but Kosas only has one concealer. It's the Kosas concealer in the shade four. This is how long I haven't used this thing. This was my favorite when it first launched and it's a great concealer. I just have so many that I've been using. Um, I also recently just pulled out the Kosas Tinted Face Oil because I totally forgot what that guy was like because I hadn't used that in so long and still definitely holds up really well. This guy is such a great concealer. It's super lightweight, but covers what you need it to cover. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Ilia Soft Focus Setting Powder. This thing is definitely on its last legs, but once I run out, I am definitely repurchasing this because it is one of my all-time favorite setting powders I'm also going to go in with the Alima Pure Satin Matte or just Satin Finishing Powder in the shade. I'm going to go in with my Alima Pure Mauna Loa Bronzer. This is just like a very neutral bronzer shade. I'm going to take it on a little fluffy contour brush like this and just use it to kind of and then I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie this one is the Hourglass Ambient and Lofton palette. This one was limited edition from like, I don't know, two years ago. <laughs> and I remember I like saved up all of my money that year to buy this thing. I had never owned any Hourglass products and they always came out with such like the prettiest holiday palettes or I missed out on them every year. So I finally, purchased this one because it was like the prettiest one because Alana Davidson was like you need it and you know anything she says I need I need um and then I got it and I used it for like a good amount of time but I haven't touched it in like over a year <laughs> and it's such a pretty palette so um I'm gonna go in with the this is the bronzer shade it's golden bronze light it is this shade right here. It's such a pretty, like, just luminous bronze shade. And honestly, this palette is so nice for travel. I really should 
pull this out more. I just have, so, see I have so much makeup that I really need to like use up and play around with more. Oh, but it just gives such a pretty glow to the skin. The only thing is I have to use a smaller bronzer brush with this because my big fluffy elf stippling brush does not fit in this little pan. And then before I go in with a powder highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my Ilia Cosmic Dancer Stick Illuminator. I think this was one of the first Ilia products I had ever purchased and it is still so pretty. It was like also one of the first cream products I purchased because having oily skin, I always thought I couldn't use cream products and honestly, it's just not the case. You can definitely use cream products if you have oily skin. It's just really depends on the formula and you know, the type of product. Like there's some stick like cream highlighters that are super chunky and glittery and like kind of greasy. So I tend to stay away from those ones. But this Ilia one is very like natural looking and it definitely isn't greasy. Like it, it's very creamy and dewy, but it doesn't make you look like a grease ball. It's just very, natural. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade in this. It's called um, Champagne Strobe Light. It's just that pretty champagne-y highlight color. And then I'm just gonna take the two blush shades right here. They are um, Nude Glow and then Mood Flush. I'm going to set with my Cover FX setting spray. I hardly ever use this because the mister, you have to make sure you spray it first before you spray your face. Like the spray itself is fine, like the actual like product, but the sprayer on there just is not my friend. Like I really prefer my Arbonne setting spray because this spray is just like the mist. It just mists your face. Like it doesn't drench your face like this. I don't know. But that's the one I prefer. It's eyebrow time. Um, I'm going to use my Alima Pure, what is this? Natural Definition Brow Pencil. I have this guy in the shade Brunette. Um, it's a great brow pencil. The only reason why I don't gravitate towards it is because it doesn't have a spoolie. So I mean, when I'm doing my, you know, makeup at home, it's fine. But, oh, I need to sharpen it too. Also, you have to sharpen it, which I prefer the like retractable ones that you can just go in with my Bare Minerals Strength and Length Brow Serum. This one is in the shade Coffee. And this one you really just need to use a light hand because it's very pigmented. So I'm going to take this DTR and the Plunge shades on a little finer pencil brush. And I'm just going to kind of tight line. I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and take the Steady and the Play Cool shade and a little bit of that complicated shade and kind of just smudge it out. Then I'm going to go in with this shade Crushing right here and hit that inner corner with it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Honest Beauty mascara, and then we'll be back to 
finish off with lips. So, trying to decide if I want to do like a kind of like orangey color, like orangey reddish, or if I want to go like nude. This is the shade um, Nutmeg. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pearl Lipstick. It's like this pretty brick kind of ready orange shade. I kind of like that one way more than the nude one. Um, the great thing about these lipsticks is that um, even though they're like a bullet lipstick, um, they actually are pretty matte and they stay for like a pretty long time. Um, it is creamy, so it's not like gonna dry out your lips, but it still has like a very long lasting effect. Um, it kind of leaves like a little stain if you wipe it off. so it fades pretty nicely so this is like also perfect for like a christmas party dinner party new year's and this is how the look turned out very glowy very dramatic for myself <laughs> don't usually do this dramatic of a look but i kind of like it. it's really nice for the holidays that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for sitting through this super long video. <laughs> I already know it's gonna be super long because this took me forever to do. But um, this was really fun like going through some of the makeup that I haven't used in a while and creating a look. I'm definitely gonna start using a lot more of these products again and try to like play around more with the makeup that I have. So let me know if there's anything that you haven't seen me use in a while that you guys would like me to reuse again. Um, if there's anything in this video that you want to see more of, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and just let me know what you liked about this video, what you didn't, what you want to see from me next, whatever. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should go follow me. My um, Instagram handle is at holisticless right here and i post more makeup looks health tips recipes all that fun stuff so if you don't follow me there yet you should go follow me if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video bye okay hello um, I was editing this video and totally forgot to film the clip for the first official Listmas giveaway. So you've made it this far into the video and I'm going to now share with you guys the first official giveaway of 12 Days of Listmas. So one lucky winner will win the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Copper Eyeshadow Palette. You're gonna win an EXA smoothing primer. You're gonna win some um, samples of the EXA foundation so you can find your shade. And then you're gonna win a Bare Minerals Bare Pro Longwear Lipstick and this is in the shade Petal. So you will win all of these items right here. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, Make sure you're following me on Instagram and then comment down below. Comment down below what your favorite Christmas song is. Yeah, I'll leave all the rules for how to enter the giveaway in the description box down below, but just, you know, do all those. Leave what your favorite Christmas song is in the comments. Um, in your comment, just put your Instagram handle next to your comment so I know who to reach out to when um, I pick the giveaway winner and That is it. That is how you win the giveaway. So um, I will Have the giveaway open for the next 24 hours. So 24 hours after this video uploads um, you have 24 hours to watch the video and enter the giveaway so I will pick the winner 
tomorrow, December 4th, which is Friday. So go enter the giveaway. Good luck. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's Listmas video. Bye.